Today we are taking a drive down Los Angeles' historic Broadway Street, home of some of the city's most historic structures. On the left is perhaps the most iconic, the Bradbury Building, built in 1892. This has been the scene for many movies, including Blade Runner. Perhaps you recognize this scene from the movie. On the right is the Million Dollar Theater, Los Angeles' first movie palace. Most of the movie palaces are still along Broadway, although most of them are no longer in use. Fortunately, thanks to the efforts of the Los Angeles Conservancy and its steadfast army of volunteers, most of these buildings have been designated as national historical landmarks and cannot be torn down, even though new construction is all along the street. During the 1930s, there were numerous movie palaces along Broadway, and fortunately most of them still remain, although most are no longer used for their intended purpose. Coming up on the left are three movie palaces clumped all together, the Roxio, the Cameo, and the Arcade Theaters. The Roxy was perhaps the last movie palace built along Broadway, and the Cameo Theater, right next to it, was possibly the first. This is a view of the interior lounge of the Roxy. Continuing up Broadway, we see a very heavily mixed area of businesses and small restaurants. And also coming up on the right is perhaps the most impressive movie palace of all, the Los Angeles Theater that opened just before the dawn of the Depression in the early 1930s. It is still a very popular location for movies, as you can see by the amazing interior. The Palace Theater is also grand, however I was unable to find any interior photos. Coming up on the right is the State Theater, which perhaps had one of the largest auditoriums of all of the movie palaces. Most recently it was used as a church, however, as of the date this video was made, it is not being used for any particular purpose, although the auditorium is still intact. The next movie palace coming into view is the Globe Theater on the left, which is currently undergoing renovation. You can just see the marquee as we pass. And on the corner to the left is the Tower Theater, the home of the first presentation of a talking movie, the 1927 jazz singer with Al Jolson. Next to it is what remains of the Rialto, which is now an Urban Outfitters retail store. Also on the left is the Orpheum Theater, which used to host vaudeville shows in addition to movies, and is also still in use as a concert venue. The last of the Broadway movie palaces that we'll see today is now coming into view on the right. It was built in the 1920s by Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks and entitled the United Artists Theater. It is now a hotel, but the auditorium remains and concerts still play there as well. Thank you for joining us for a drive down Broadway.